I'm in the centre of London today at High Park Corner. Wall Street have got a very special event happening today, so let's go and find out what it's all about. How do you feel about water aid? What, what is the vision and mission? Well really we want, we want to put an end to the sort of situation you're seeing here today. We've created this scene to show to people just how awful conditions are for people in the developing world who live without proper toilets. So this is, this is about explaining to people how bad it is so that we can get more people to work together to put a stop to this and make sure that people in the developing world do have decent, safe toilets. Um, is this just a one-off scene or is it all around the world you do? Uh, this, this, is, this is a one-off event at the moment. Um, we haven't, haven't got any plans right now to do it anywhere else, but it's possible. You know, if it goes very well and we feel it's been a big success, you know, we could find ourselves maybe doing something like this in New York or maybe doing it in Sydney. But we haven't planned it yet. We'd have to see how much it cost us and how well it went. Was, is it, was it good value for money? Did it, did, it really make a, did it really make a difference in getting our message out? This is a scene it's set in a slum, basically, in the developing world. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a scene around uh, some, some toilets for the slum, um, but it also shows the open sewage. You know, lack of lack of proper toilets and sanitation systems mean that you've basically got sewage, which is wee and poo and rainwater and waste, all this disgusting, all this disgusting flowing everywhere. But also, we've got a rubbish dump in the middle of it too, because of course in a situation like this there'll be no uh, rubbish lorries no dustmen or anything like that the rubbish gets thrown away and it just stays there and it mixes up with the with all the poo and the filth and the rest of it um, and you can see the the, the, the toilets that people use which are crawling with maggots which is why it would be which is disgusting and there's a smell a really powerful smell in the air which is the smell of oat of sewage and poo and everything and um, it's not real it's been created for us by a set designer who, who puts together sets for adverts and movies and TV and he's created this and he also got some people to create the smell. Oh, okay. So what's in that smell? Uh, what's he actually I don't know what secret ingredients he's used to, to make the to make his um, synthetic one. What would be in the real one though would be basically smell of poo, feces of call it, smell of weed, smell of stagnant rainwater and really rotting fruit. And veg. What do you want the public have learned to get from this experience? Well, we want them to realise the scale of the problem. We want to wake them up to the fact of, of, of the way that 40% of the world's population live with no toilets. Um, and then we want them to put pressure on the government to do more to sort this out. Um, we want them to give us money so we can do something about building more toilets for people like that and to become our supporters. Thank you. 